For this stem bite, my niece Abby is practicing her bow and arrow in the backyard. Nice. Don't hit me, okay, Abby? Now, when you think about something like a bow and arrow shooting or maybe a, a, a gun shooting a paintball or something like that, you tend to think that the object probably goes really straight. I mean, it's going so fast. But even objects that go really fast, like bows and arrows, still follow what we call projectile motion. Projectile motion undergoes this characteristic shape that we call like an arc or a trajectory. Depending on the initial angle that you shoot something, the shape of that trajectory could look really different. Abby's gonna shoot one right at the at the target here, really hard. Okay, I want you to watch the shape of the of the arrow. Nice. You see it curve down as it went, right? It had that projectile shape. Aim it higher. Let's see what happens. Woohoo! Aim it really high. There it goes. Look at that arc, right? All of those are examples of projectile motion. Now it may not seem this way, but even if you were to shoot like a gun standing right here at that target, the bullet would be going so incredibly fast, it wouldn't seem like it would drop at all. But even that bullet would go through a small little arc, that characteristic shape of projectile motion. Now if I pull this all the way back to where it's fully loaded and let it go, it's gonna look like it's going straight, but it's still following projectile motion. Oh, that was like a bullseye. Holy cow. Look at that, straight through. Stand by.